Okay, so now we have our lion here, and we have finished we have finished drawing the shapes and abstracting it into shapes that will be easy to create and model on Tinkercad. Now what we have to do to make our job much easier in Tinkercad is to actually measure the length and width and the, what we call dimensions of each shape. For that task, there's two things you can use. For this part, I'm going to use a digital caliper. Uh, in the next part of it, I'll show you how to use a ruler. You can do the same thing. You don't need this, but these are really fun. So a digital caliper, simply put, you're going to start by, um, it'll be off, close it, and then press zero. So slide it all the way closed and press zero. And then change it to millimeters, because we're going to be using millimeters. So you can see 0 0.001, okay. So, okay, there we go. So uh, what we're going to do, first of all, how do we measure, let's start with uh, rectangles, because they're the easiest. A rectangle is easy to measure with length across one side and the width in the other direction. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'll show you a rectangle. Let's do this rectangle at the back of the body here. So I'm going to take this and match one line up here, and I'll close this until I get 49.76. Uh, That's going to round up to 50. I'm going to round up just to whole millimeters here. So it's going to be really messy, so I'm going to measure this one. And right out here, I'm going to put 50. And then for the height, it's about 61 by 61. Okay, um, now let's go, and I'm going to show you how to do one of the ovals. Ovals, uh, the best way to measure an oval is what I call the sniper scope method. So to show you that, I uh, probably need a bigger, bigger piece of paper. So if you have an oval, it might be turned in a funny way like this one is. So what you do is, first of all, make a line across the widest part of the oval. Not here. The widest part is actually right across here. And then what you do is you go to the middle of that line and then go perpendicular to it, 90 degree angles, just like that. So see, I have the longest and the shortest. And then we measure those. So in this case, we have about... 62, if you round it off. By 133. So let's apply that idea to this lion. And this looks like almost like a circle. I think the widest way is probably this way. 71. Uh, so about 71. And the other direction is this way, perpendicular to that. It's a little smaller, it's 67 or 68. Okay, uh, let's do a couple more of these. Um, I'm going to do this rectangle for the tail. 32. And I'm going to do the height of that rectangle is 19.6. I'm going to round that to 20. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point, I don't have any triangles to show in this one. I will show that with the German Shepherd. He has a triangle for an ear that we need to measure. So uh, at this point, I'm going to pause the video and then come back once I have it all dimensioned. And we can go over the details of how that turned out. Okay, so we are back with a lion drawing. And got a lot of numbers on this thing now. And you can see every single shape has an arrow and dimensions pointing to it. Except for, again, we're not doing this back leg. We're going to do that with the software. Oops, now I see it. You can see there's one of them I don't have measured, and that's this one right here. So I'm going to go back and do that, but uh, next we're going to go on to another example. So now we're dimensioning the ankylosaur. Oh, man, I'm hoping I'm, I'm saying that right. I, something tells me I'm not. Uh, but let's take a look at this. And, again, um, I'm just going to kind of show you how I'm getting this. I've already measured a number of these, but with a ruler, it, it's the same as with a digital caliper. But um, that may be a little bit a little different, I guess. You have to take place your ruler across the largest part of the oval. Make sure that you put zero on one edge, and then you go over. So this is four, so that's 40 millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got 46. Line up the edge. And you have to make sure you zero your ruler out. Look, I could claim that I'm 12 feet tall if I just take the end of a 12-foot tape measure and put it at the top of my head. But the problem with that claim is, is that the bottom isn't starting at my feet. 
same thing with this. You have to start at zero, otherwise your measurement won't work, okay? So we have about, oh, looks like about 38. So, whoops. Nope, sorry, about 30. <laughs> sorry, that was a mistake. So we had 30, 30. And again, I'm just kind of labeling each one of these as I go. The triangles, remember, I haven't been doing a whole lot of triangles in the other videos because those animals just didn't have those. Base would be across here. So we'll get right over the top of this, and we're looking at about 46 millimeters on the base. And the height measured up from there to the end of this triangle uh, is about 55 or 56, actually, for the height. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll bring this back. So we're back, and I've finished dimensioning uh, the drawing. Oops, looks like I forgot this one at the end. So I'll show you one more. 21 by about 11 on this oval at the end. So I'll zoom in the camera now and refocus it and re-image it. You'll excuse me if it doesn't zoom exactly correctly, because sometimes this thing gets a little twisted. So you can see what we've been doing a little bit more in detail.